studio right now for a faith uh, and finance segment, and uh, I know we're going to talk about uh, time and money and the value that we assigned uh, to money and so forth, so take us there. So I, w- I was going to bring up, um, there's a concept in economics and finance courses called the time value of money. It's a basic principle that we all learn when we take these courses. And what it is, it's the financial principle that states that the sum of money today is worth more than the sum of money in the future. Mm. Due to its potential earning capacity or investment opportunity and the decrease of value from inflation through our monetary system. Oh, wow. Okay. In other words, money available today can be invested and saved and earned at interest or other returns, thereby increasing its value over time and can be spent today in more purchasing power. So this is a concept that we talked about usury before that usury to make a profit on interest is was condemned by the church. But some Catholics and some people would say, well, the time value money is a cost to someone. Therefore, you can charge that cost to someone else, even though you never earned it. It's not right. realized. So that's an argument that some people use. I wanted to bring up that, you know, since I could have done it, therefore, if I'm going to lend you my money, even though I did not do it, I want you to pay me for what I did not do because I could have done it. Mm. <laughs> so it's that concept. Now, they will, they will justify interest for that. Okay. So I, what I wanted to bring up two things about time was that uh, in the Bible, I mean, you have the uh, situation through divine interpretation that Joseph had with Pharaoh of seven years of famine and seven mm. years of good times that they rightfully and uh, prudently in, um, saved that grain for the, bad, right. for the bad time. So that makes sense. And there's a bunch of parables that we can go by that it's very important to save uh, what we have for the future. But Pope Pius, the, uh, uh, the f- no, I'm sorry, Pope Innocent the Third in 1100s, I'm paraphrasing. He said, should we make money off of time? And he said no because mm. we don't own time. God mm. does. Mm. So I, so my whole perspective is that time is something is owned by God, and we should not be able to say I could have done something when I didn't do it. Mm. So this kind of brought me into the uh, this passage by James. I wanted to read this. He said, and this is has to do with business. Now listen, who you say today or tomorrow we will go into the city, spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why you do not even know what will happen tomorrow? What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance schemes. All such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do, then does not do it is a sin for them. Uh, so this emphasizes that God owns time and we shouldn't put a value on time and put it on money mm. because time is a commodity that we have to, uh, we have to give to God we don't know how much time we have and it should be given up for, uh, repentance and really preparation for our death. If you think about it. Yeah. And it really strikes me that if we took all the resources that are available right now and made them uh, put them to use for those who are in need instead of putting them away, wouldn't we be in a better place? Yeah. I, I, I mean, <laughs> it's just a practical thing. And it, it does make one wonder. And have we placed our security in uh, this uh, putting back money and retirement accounts or whatever the case may be? If you're feeling secure in that, I would just say, I put your security in the Lord. Not that that's a bad thing, but if you find your security in that that kind of thing, it's most likely to get interrupted at some point. (laughs) Agreed. All right. Thank you, Drew. Um, And, uh, of course, so you can catch up with Drew every Friday uh, here on Annunciation Radio on the morning offering program. And uh, if you spot him in the grocery store, say hello. (laughs) Are you often in the grocery store? Kroger, yes. (laughs) Look for him at the Kroger. That's why we have video in the studio. (laughs)